interested in other cultures. I went to school in Belgium at, at University of Louvain and loved the, the differences in, in language and culture. Uh, however, it wasn't until I joined the Temple of Understanding that I recognized the extreme importance of other religious traditions. And that has been an enormous enrichment to my own spiritual life. I'm a Catholic, and I grew up as a Catholic. But now I practice in Buddhism, and I find that there's no contradiction or conflict with my Catholic faith, but I've been greatly enriched in meditation practice. As a Catholic, we always learned, we were told, that this is the one true faith. Um, I have since come to understand that I believe that God has opened many paths, and there are many truths but one spirit. And in fact, I was at Yogaville, Satchidananda's ashram last weekend, and all over they had many paths, one spirit, and I thought, oh, maybe that's where I got this, <laughs> uh, this way of, of describing it. What I've learned from Buddhism is not the silence of, of Zen, but our interdependence, not one, not two, you know, we're not separate beings, and we're not um, cut off or individual. Of course, growing up in this country, individualism was so honored, and individual success, etc., is of such importance that it's a it's a real enrichment for me to understand deeply how interconnected we are, not just with other people, but with the universe, with the earth. The temple, founded by a woman, has just celebrated its 50th anniversary. We believe uh, that we're accurate in saying that it's therefore the oldest interfaith organization in the country, in this country. And um, Juliet Hollister was the foundress of, of the temple. She couldn't understand that religious religions were fighting with each other or how they could possibly be fighting with each other. And I think she'd be even more mystified today to see that we still don't understand and respect other traditions. But I would say that at the heart of this temple, which is a movement, it's not a place, um, at the heart is this sense of educating ourselves and others to understand and respect different religious traditions. And there is an enormous wealth for one tradition to learn from another. And that's what we're about. I was very touched that Liana, Liana is doing her project on, on the terrible situation of Somalia. Sure, we have 21 interns. I get them a UN pass and they go every day to the open meetings at the UN and learn about the major issues of concern in the world today and after about 10 days I have them begin desi deciding on a research project and I will say to them what's your passion what moves you what grabs you and do that for your for your research project because actually a number of them have said this is going to be my life work and it is when I see the way they're spending their lives. Um, so I think this internship allows them entrance to the United Nations 
helps them to become global citizens. And to me, that's number one step toward understanding and respecting all these different cultures and traditions. Interfaith dialogue has become more important every year since I've been doing this than it was before. And it's, it's the history of the world is, is affected by religious conflict. And I hate to say it, but it doesn't seem to be getting better. It strikes me that the best way to counteract this kind of, of it's, it's worse than prejudice, it's more than prejudice, this kind of ignorance is to combat it with education, beginning in the very early stages. We need to look at our religious traditions to see are we still thinking that this is God's only way of speaking to mankind and to women? Is there no richness to be gained from understanding other cultures and religious traditions? And I think that it should be mandatory in schools that some form of understanding of other, at least other cultures, of other ways of seeing the world, can be can be taught as an enrichment and not as a threat.